Hello there, boss. Hello. Let's just get straight into it. Let's just get straight into it, troops. Let's get straight into it. Hello. Let's get straight into it. Let's do fuck a bit. Then you want to come in. Then if you like it. Just wanted to go in my phone now. Me but under the weather. Have a look what I've been greeting or something like that, I've no, just I've actually been falling asleep on the couch. Uh don't know what it is. Jaws been tensing up a bit tense about something. Bit tired maybe. Don't know. But I thought oh, I was looking at everybody streaming. And I thought, oh mate. Might see if I can get involved in some of the games, don't feel like it. You know, like Among Us. I want to give you a hug. Fuck off, way. Don't want a fucking hug. Everybody can fuck off. But thank you for offering. Um, I thought to myself, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come on. I'm going to I'm going to talk about while I'm trucking. I'm going to talk about while I'm trucking, right? Right? It's my duty and my interest. Fuck is that man? Right, um hold on. It's not it's not as cool. Um continue, continue, continue. Right, gives me saying it's my duty and my wish. To come on when I don't when I don't feel like it. Or if I'm feeling a wee bit done or something. To share that with you. Especially if you're a streamer. See I'm not I'm not just to like just to like just like you know, I'm no pure done. See right now I'm already, I, I just tense like I can almost feel it in my gums. Don't know what it is. Do you know what I mean? Hmm, hmm, hmm. a second. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to talk all about it. It's so sad. So sad, everything's so sad. Lemme, you look lovely this evening, thanks.
tense feeling. Let's see how quickly I can get rid of it. Get driving immediately. Get driving right now and let's talk. It's time to talk. Let's get talking. Right, what's going on here? Um, just let me get things set up. It won't let me out. It will just be a moment. It will just be a moment. Let me get the old. Let me get the old truck set up. Now, if I got a job on right now, take that. Unplug that. Move the phone earlier. Get everything already. That's it. Get everything all set up. That's it. Get it all set up. That's it. No, have you got a job on right now? Pendleton? Keep a second. World. I've got a job. Oh, I. Oh, wait. What's this? I. So. I've got I. So I've got a job on. Gives a wee second, gives a wee second everybody to, to anybody who's just subbed, chucked his bits, anything like that. Just gives a wee second, right? Just gives a wee second. That's my kind of pain in my chest, that tension. Maybe because of the cycling, quite simply a physical, physical exertion that I'm not used to. I remember when I was filming Look Tired, me, really. I remember when I was filming the first series of Let Me Show, there was one or two sketches. I felt so tense with how it was going because I was running out of time that my chest felt all tight and I felt I was almost having a f no heart attack, but my, my fucking chest was sore. Um, but I was also doing a lot of press-ups at the time. Push-ups. You know when you go down in the ground, push yourself up. So sometimes you think there's something wrong with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. Let me get myself on a nice straight road and then I can look at the chat, look at the notifications and talk to you. Hi, heart rate, thank you very much, Chris. Of it. Gives me second. Get fucking lights on. The lights. Right. Mosmod, thank you very much. Seven months of the baby blues and the best gun show in town. Thank you very much, mate. Scotty Baxter, Benny, Quint, Shag, Jasper. Thanks for the subs. Turbo lover, I fucking love it. Rubot, Crystal Moe, Muggle, Mr. Soy, Sheila. Thank you very much for the subs. Can't believe you trampled and killed that wee dog and didn't put, put me out of my misery before this fucking thing renewed instead. Sheila, thank you very much for your 18 months. That dog, if you watch it back, made itself invisible. I didn't like the dog, I, I don't like poodles. I don't like, I don't dislike poodles in real life enough that I want to fucking kill them with a horse. But I wasn't devastated. Fake armrest and Abrad TDCM Pada thinks with subs and bits. Stuck in doors in Wales. Listen, there's nothing better than being stuck indoors, man. Nothing better. I have been enjoying going out for my cycles though recently. 
the day I went out for a kind of shorter one, I went a different direction. I normally, right, hold on, tangled up blue, thanks for the bits. Enjoy this morning blowing people's heads off is a thankless task. Appreciate your service, thank you very much. I went on a bit of a rampage. Quiggy, Pat and Kieran, the Dave and Cowboy, Baz Waldo, and it's your pee pee. I can't until Groot, thank you very much for your subs. A couple of weeks late, but happy two years. Thank you very much, Anusia. Thank you very much for your continued support. Um, I had done it, I kind of felt a wee bit tense or a wee bit done earlier. It's been happening for kind of for a hold on, let me. Is that my right camera angle? There should be the plant there. I feel like I should fill in that space a wee bit like that. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah. Anyway. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. One or two wee things, I've got one or two wee personal things, private things. But uh, stuff that I've thought about what to talk about it. That's a really good idea, Cyber. Uh, do I talk about it? Hmm. Fresh. That's mad that I was actually talking about it. And you say that as spooky. Um, right, what was it? I cyber appreciate that, thank you very much. Um, it's nothing. It's nothing. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. But... It's nothing. I mean, obviously it's something, but it's nothing in the schema. When you get in 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 the, in the big schema, fucking things. Don't know. Um. I don't know. I had this feeling, right? See, see, before I came on, I thought, I wonder if I'll stream the night. I was a bit tired there, I, was kept, I kept falling asleep on the couch. Um, I thought, I wonder if I'll stream later. And I saw that people were saying, there's, there's, there's a few uh, Discord channels that I'm on. And I'm that fidgety way, I'm that fidgety way where I do, I do things that people might not like. For example, um, you know when you get that way where you go, right, I'm going to do a big Twitter culling or a big Facebook culling or something like that. You just feel like tying up some loose ends. You just feel like doing about a fucking Add many like that, that maybe this will sort out the feeling in my head. You end up doing a few wee kind of destructive things, and people ask you, what, if, uh, what, what, "Have I said something? Have I done something?" You're like, "No, I'm just off my nut." For example, I'm on ten thirty JH's Discord, right? There's a there's a Discord channel that I was on, and the the purpose of that was for like that that I was invited to that was for arranging games to 
play with people, right? But then I'm also on Dando's Discord, 1030JH's Discord, Sacrell's Discord, Minecraft Discord, because I was looking at something to just to see something for Daniel, but I never fucking look at it. Um, who else is? Dando1030. Somebody else's. Told Dando not to worry about it. Not to worry about what? What? What is it? Cause about what's that? You told Dando not to worry about it. No, you worry about what? Did you leave her Discord? Aye. What did she, did she get a notification? And she actually said to you, "What do you think's going on?" They just noticed that, so I thought something was wrong. I said, it's fine. How do you know it's fine? Maybe I fucking hate them. Chris, I bet. Maybe I fucking hate them. Maybe I've pure fallen out with everybody. Maybe I've found out some pure, seriously bad fucking stuff about every cunt. I'll let her know you hate them. I didn't say that. I just said maybe. I just meant you didn't know. Hold on. Right. Um, no, so what it is, is this, he's back. Right, no, 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 not yet. Christopher, thanks for, thanks for gifting that sub there. Roscoe from Moscow, thank you very much, mate. Thanks for the sub. Ramen5, thanks for the three quid. World's Best Clan Fear Academy, I don't know what's that. I'm not shouting out their names, I don't know what the fuck that is. Do you have any tips to get over alcoholism? I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but stop drinking is the number one way. Bideku, thanks to three quid. Give your mod Alice a shout out, she reached a filly. Is that true? Alice, you there? Alice. Fucking brilliant. Uh, Medeku, please don't say to me, give your mod Alice a shout out. Don't tell me what to fucking do, mate. Say something like, uh, just to let you know, Alice Astro reached affiliate. But don't then tell me to gear a fucking shout out. Because then when I gear a shout out, it looks like I've only done it because you've told me. And it's like you're making a wee fucking job for yourself. And it makes me look like I'm a right ignorant cunt unless I do what you fucking tell me to do. Right? Alice, Alice, Alice Astro, I'm very sorry that he has fucking ruined it. Alice Astro, congratulations on making affiliate. Can I have a shout out, please? See, it just sounds like, like somebody's just backseated my fucking brain. Tony Terry, incredible thanks for the sub and fiver. Question for you. Is this live from Glasgow, Scotland, your Friday night? <clears throat> Alice Astro. Could you please de alert? Alice Astro has just made affiliate. So that I can hear that. Is this still the city of love? Two weeks ago. It was fucking two weeks ago. Medeku. It was two fucking weeks ago. Blazing Brogan, thanks for the sub. Hope this sub helps you build your new different. Oh. Um, what was I saying? It was something dead important. Is this still the city of love? You never shouted me out for two. Oh, that's right, Alice Astro. There you go. There you go. There's your, there's your shout out then. There's your fucking shout out. Mister Worldwide thinks the theme on three sub so is still the the theme of love. I. This is still the theme of love. 
What was I talking about? Um, oh, aye, 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 discords. So, right. So, I was previously on the Minecraft Discord, which I never went on to. Sacrails, which was just for the purpose of a Warzone game that we played once. 1030GH, Dan Do, and it was somebody fucking else. Who was it? Who was it? Who else would it have been? Right, but it's not. It's a, it was a person's. What was it? No. Zaffa, I, Zaffa Cakesies. And, um, Toasty had a Discord channel for, like, arranging games, right? Arranging, like, like, when to group up for games and things like that, right? But then the other night I was invited to another one, and I don't know what it is, actually. I don't know what it is, but the same people who were on the previous one aren't, were now on this new one arranging games and, but there was more people more names that I recognised so I was like oh right and I was like what is this anyway who, who runs this one but I thought right so I'm like well what one do I look at what one do I look at I get kind of confused I don't like claw I absolutely hate claw I absolutely hate it so I thought to myself right here's what I do leave the old one and just look at the new one. Also, while I'm at it, I don't look at Dando's Discord, 1030GH's Discord, Zaffir Cakes's Discord, the Minecraft Discord, or Sacrail's Discord. I don't think of... Remember, ten, I've not looked into 1030GH's once. I might have looked in it once just to see what the channel names are, you know, just to have a wee glance. But I've no looked once, and that's a fucking guy I meet up with. That's an actual real life fucking guy, right? It's just no what a day. I'm not like right. I'm going to read tons of fucking messages, but lots of people talking to each other. It's just not the way my fucking head works. See, even on my own dis Discord, my Discord, I don't fucking look at it. I created a channel called Lummy's Twitch in it, so I know that's where I have to look, because I'm not interested in anything else. I look in the self-promo thing to get some names to to follow, um, you know, for, for auto-hosting and things like that. But it's just, it's, uh, I don't have a lot of time. Believe it or not, earlier the day, um, ten thirty, recommended some podcast to me, and I and I like a kind of Discord chat, private chat, and I said I'm never going to listen to any podcast for the rest of my life. He said how, I can't remember what his question was, but I said, it's just. There's other things that are more interesting to me than podcasts. I've got about three, four, five different clips, just clips for my channel that I want to download and then upload. That's all I want to do. Haven't got the time. That's all I want to do. Twitch, video producer, whatever the fuck it is the clip watch it actually I could do an extra 5 seconds at the end there it's slightly clipped a wee bit too short right watch whole video edit view in highlighter highlight highlight ok click off it wait for it to kind of do its server side rendering of the fuck it is download it Put it into something like Premiere, which I no longer have got. 
learn this fucking um, what, what is it DaVinci Resolve thing put a compressor on it so it's now quiet upload the fucking thing export it upload it I'm just like <sighs> and I thought look see that clip play that clip in your phone get the chat on in the side get the screen recorder going like you've done a few times just do that I've not got the fucking time I've not got the fucking time even to do that Um. so the idea the, the idea especially see if you're a fucking see if you're a parent and even a shite fucking parent like me the idea of you actually being able to sit there for half an hour to an hour listening to something undisturbed forget it or the idea that you're able to do that and there's nothing else you've got today that's more important be daft don't be daft Scrub and Jod thanks for the subs and fiver did you begin streaming with any hopes of it becoming a source of income Um when I started streaming about 10 years ago before Twitch was Twitch when it was just on TV no just fun about 2 years ago pretty much 2 years ago to the kind of to the month I thought right get into streaming as a source of income as a job as a livelihood see how it goes bought myself a new computer thought in for a in for a penny in for a pound let's do it and due to your fucking generosity everybody I'm living the fucking dream I know I talk to a little bit off and a bit doing and a bit that's gonna happen no matter what I could be in a fucking yacht in Monaco or something like that you're still gonna get a bit done you know what it's, you know what it's like the brain's got an infinite capacity of being miserable Custard Dudley Kai thanks for the subs in 420 thank you very much Jose Santana thanks for 200 bits you sound stressed mate stay positive fuck up shop stay positive stupid fucking prick I've seen your I've seen your profile picture on Twitter I feel like fucking pulling that fucking hood down out of your face and slinging your boot maybe you should consider getting a pet for the house Changed my mindset completely. In the end, hope you get over this slump. Why don't you get the fuck out of my mind and let me talk about myself, mate? Don't get the fuck out of my head. I'm not interested in your opinion. Let me speak. I appreciate the sentiment, but let me fucking speak. A fucking pet. What? Spend all my time. I'm just after telling you, I've got no fucking time, and now I have to look after another fucking another organism. Have yet another organism in my life, and have to fucking pick the shite out its fucking ass when I'm out there. Pick up its shite every fucking night. Fuck right off. What's the matter with people? What is the matter with people tonight? Roscoe from Moscow, thanks for the sub. Yakko yeah, Bell, thank you very much, mate. Um, I think you'd love Just Cause 4 as game no 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 I've had a look uh, starting soon same collection art hasn't changed in months I will, ha I will have a look I'll get around to it I'll write it in my wee notepad thing that I never look at Tony Terry Blazing Brogan 305 Thanks for the subs. Aye, so I thought, right, I don't, I don't, right, let's clear this out. Let's clear this out. So I thought, right, leave, 
Leave Dando's Discord, leave 1030, 1030's Discord, leave Zaffer Cakes' Discord, um, leave Sacrell's Discord, leave the Minecraft Discord, and leave the original game organising Discord, and only have the following things. Your Discord, and that one Discord that you're going to, to kind of organise games, and that's it. Nice and simple. Simple and pure. And I think to myself when, I, when I'm like that, why don't you just leave it? Why don't you just have a wee screen that's got a list of discords that you don't read, but just leave them sitting there? Why not just leave them sitting there don't leave them, you leave them, people are going to go, oh, I'm oh, so sorry, <laughs> so sorry, just fucking don't touch them, I can't help it, I just like tying up the loose ends, like Columbo, make a fold and stick them on the enemy, say Sheila, here's a better idea, leave them all. And then that's that. Hot lumps thanks to 200 bits. Everybody, everybody knows that I love them to bits. Everybody knows. Everybody, I hope, gets a right good feeling that I think magic. You know how I was thinking about the day when I was cycling? Somebody that I like. A streamer that I like. that I've liked talking with recently. I right, bananas. I'm just happy that he's got any dead by daylight and just good hearing his lively sort of voice. Lively sort of, almost like a radio. He's got a kind of radio presenter at two in the morning on Radio 4 or something. Or local radio. Um, and I'm enjoying the Dead by Daily. I'm really fucking enjoying playing right now, and it's it, it's a horrible feeling. One of the worst feelings in the world when there's a game that you like playing and you get the feeling that people are kind of no into it. They're kind of alright. I mean, I mean, I do like playing it, but not all the fucking time, and. See when there's somebody you used to play games with, and then you, you then you have me for ages, and then they're back in playing a game with you. Um, and they're they're getting into it, and they're looking up YouTube videos. They're looking it up. They're getting into it, and they're getting better, and they're getting good at it. It's a good feeling. And I was actually thinking about this cunt. Don't even know the guy. As I was cycling along the fucking... Where was I? I cycled along the... The, the, the canal path. You know, the, the, the Clyde and Forth Canal path. Kind of... Clyde Bank sort of bit. I got reminded of that path because somebody said all day about cycling. People, I've been posting my, my cycling stats and some people have been going like that, nine miles an hour or, um, oh, an hour cycling, is that all? 
So I had to remind some cunts, I have to do this every like six months. I used the fucking cycle, 50 fucking mile, alright? For Glasgow and North fucking Queens Ferry, that's where the fourth rail bridge is. Oh, the bastard and fucking way. In my denims. On a fucking hybrid bike. On a bumpy as fuck cycle path along that Clyde and Fourth Canal path, whatever the fuck it's called. And once I did it, it was windy as fuck against cycling against the wind. You couldn't fucking see if you stop cycling because of this bumpy path in the wind against you. The bike comes to a standstill in about 10 seconds. You're just constantly pushing it along for fucking hours. And I, and, I, and I thought to myself, that's right, the fucking cycle path. Because I've been cycling, see these wee cycles I've been doing, it's the same kind of cycle I've been doing. Kind of Clyde side, up between West End, sort of Kelvin Grove Park, sort of bit, Byers Road kind of thing. And I've not been getting that bored there, but I thought, right, let's change up a wee bit. Um, and as I was cycling along there, I don't know how. But right bananas popped into my head. I'm, I'm really, really happy. I know, I know, it doesn't. See, I don't seem happy. I'm really, really happy that this is what I do, and the user are here. And um. Because I fucking love streaming, I love playing games, I love coming on and chit chatting away. It's the business, as the guy in the flash adverts used to say. Hey, Seamus thinks there's 200 bits. Wrong way down a one way street. <laughs> Scott Gary thinks this thinks of subs. Watching Lemmy through follow then a redundancy. Thanks for having you welcome, mate. Boy, thanks for two hundred bits. Have you dyed your hair grey? You're looking a bit lifeless. My hair's just a bit kinda of dry. It's a bit Um, scrub Apex Effect You're looking old as fuck pal West Ferns thinks for the fiver Fuzzy Medeku Thanks for the subs Medeku says Sorry boss Was just trying to help Waited two weeks I know my place Cult leader If there's one thing I fucking hate Worse than somebody Talking a lot of shit It's the apology It's the, the apology That comes Sorry I was just trying to help Oh come on You fuck man Take a fucking joke You bastard no, they bother me. Sorry, I was just trying to help. I'm really sorry. I hope everybody's all right. I'm so sorry. Come on, they fuck, man. Hot lumps, thanks for 200 bits. Discovering truck simulator, thanks to your streams. It's really, it is relaxing to play. I don't know if I'd be playing this um, if I wasn't streaming it. D Sizzle and Jimmy Wanball, thanks for the subs and bits. Sitting here on a getaway for me and the wife, completely ignoring her, pushing myself, laughing at you, slating advice from the chat. Glad to hear it, my man. Blank Newman, thanks for turning a bit, spilled your new different. That was just fucking horrible, that. Odd job. Is this the way to... Thanks to 2,000 bits, mate. Is this the way to Amarillo? Dum, dum, da, na, na, na. Who remembers the banter days?
the banter days, like for example, was this the way to Amarillo, Peter K and all that, and the the English banter days. Remember? You had celebrities being in other like celebrity specials or like kinda a celebrity version of something or George Michael's appearing in this thing and remember the banter days? From Devoy to Loria, I remember. The banter days, man. Right good laugh, wasn't it? Oh, are you watching the thing on Saturday night? George Michael's appearing in it. Every days, man. Those days are gone. And they're never coming back. What was a laugh for? Because it's fucking... Because it's a horrible thing to say. It's a tragedy, it's a horrible thing to say. What a, what a, what a notion. That the banter days could possibly be gone forever. What I thought. Mitch, thanks for 500 bits. Have I been to Oban? I went to Oban... Um, something like April of this year. Was it? Um, Lynn said, you never organise any holidays, you never do anything. So I thought, fuck right. So I organised a trip to Oban. And we fucking hated it. There was like no cunt there. It was windy, wet, cold. I was happy in a way, because of that. Told you I was shite. Told you I was shite. This is what happens. This is what happens. Roy, uh, Seamus, Sten Stenny and Mr Pish. Thanks for the subs. Right, so listen to this everybody so I was kind of sitting there the night thinking about streaming and I saw the thingies on phasmophobia there's thingy on phasmophobia and all there's thingy on phasmophobia and all there's thingy on among us and 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 I thought right I suppose I better get in into a bit of this Everybody's meeting up. Friday night. It's like everybody's meeting up and being all social. And I thought, oh, I don't actually. I mean, I, I, have, I, I was kind of invited, sort of. I, I, just to be clear, I was kind of invited. I don't mean I was sort of invited, but I wasn't sure if I was invited. So I just, I just thought, no, no. I could have joined in if I wanted. I think. Um. Are you telling me I can't? Are you telling me I can't get rid of this? Because I don't accept that. Right. That's it. I don't accept that. I don't accept that explanation. I want my money back. Um, so I thought, right, maybe I better... Um, maybe I better... Um, like... Take part in all that. I thought, I don't actually feel like... I don't feel like being sociable, I don't feel like chatting and um I don't know, I just I just want to, I just wanna be in my own heat for a bit. Um Now just say again, it's not like people were kicking down my door going like come out, let me drag and drag and grab in my arm you know like come get up and dance get up and dance it's not like people were dragging me to play the fucking... Dragging me to play the game. 
Um, but I just thought, oh, I almost felt, I almost had a feeling of, is it right that all these people that I know online, streamers, are all playing these social games and I'm just deciding, nah, you're all right. Nah, you're all right. Is that right? Is that antisocial? Hold on. And then, you know, and then I go and fucking leave Dando's Discord and Ten Thirty's Discord and Zaffer Cakes' Discord. I must look like I'm like fucking. Um. Wait, fucking. Jump in the fucking Clyde or something? Or like I've pure. I've pure fell out with them all. Because somebody said something and I don't want to talk about it, but I know what they said. I know what they said, and thingy was there, and they didn't stone up for me. So that's it. I'm unfollowing them all, and well, if they don't know why, well, they should know why. No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. I thought, you know what I want to do? I want to come on this. I pictured myself trucking and chatting away and there was a lonely feeling I had. I thought, obviously you would be here, right? But I just had this wee feeling. Like, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm going to be up for it. I thought, just there. You know what you like. You love to talk. You love to talk about fucking anything. Get on. And talk about how you feel. Heavy things to sub. I wish I was capable of keeping up with the chat. It's just overwhelming. Just blink. 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 Just got that. That's not quite blinking, but if you do that, the text goes at half the speed. There's a bus look. Oy. Is that risky? True Pigeon, thanks for gifting me five fucking subs, thank you very much. This is, a nice, this is a nice drive, this. This is a nice drive. Nice daytime one. Hogman Day. Thanks for the sub. Four months of watching this old cunt drive in a truck. It is quality entertainment. High quality. Gold quality. Like reliable quality. Gold. Gold edition. What version are you getting? I'm going to go for the gold, gold edition. Aye. Aye, fuck it, I was going to go platinum, but no, gold, gold will do it. Gold will do it. Liquid Sid, thanks for turning bits. Thank you for keeping me sane and well during a really shitty period these past few weeks. You're welcome, Sid. Thank you very much for keeping me company. I'll leave the sentence. I'm going to finish the sentence there. Known as 32, thanks for gifting that sub. Magwitch, thanks for three quid. I always wondered about that bit on Kimmy's show when it's your head on a guy's dancing, did he bring his own trousers? I don't recall that um, on Kimmy's show. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. Do you know what the thing is, see, with that, with that sketch? And I don't know if I mentioned it in the... Was that third series? Um, was that the third series? 
but there was a mix up there was a fucking mix up of that sketch and I know I've spoke about it before but I said to the producer I said what I'm looking for is and it, was, it got it got to a bit pre-production it got dead busy and I couldn't check everybody and check videos and um, check double check absolutely everything but I said what I'm looking for is this I'm looking for somebody who can do the Melbourne shuffle this sort of dancing where they they, they, they look like they're kind of sliding about right they look like they're kind of sliding about Um, kinda, right. Sorta, of. and I said, "Here it is. Here's the video here, right." It kinda dancing on the spot, but not just like running man stuff. Is there's a lot of, you know, the, the feet have got to do the kind of, you know, the sort of heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. See, so look like a kind of slide into the side type of thing. There's there's a lot of that. Um, and the producer said, right, we've got a guy who said he can do it, aye. He, he definitely knows, you know, Melbourne Shuffle, that video that I showed you. Aye, said he can do it. I went, right, all right. And then when it came to film it, I was like, all right. Um, nice guy, decent guy and everything. Hello, right, Bananas, I was talking about how much I like you. Um, this isn't me talking about you right now so once you hear me talking about a guy this is now 10 minutes ago um, I says right could you right, could you um, you know but then they just go like action I said right could you, could you do us a favour could you I know this is a bit embarrassing, right? But um, I suppose I've got to get get it undone with. Could you could you do a bit of the dancing just now? Just you know, just shows like just sort of five seconds just to see if we're on the same page here. I know it's a bit embarrassing putting you on the spot. You know, you know, with the cameras are set up, the green screen stuff set. Do, do you know what I mean? We're ready to go. And he did a dance that was a kind of sort of in the ballpark if you know what I mean but it was mere it was mere a kind of stamping sort of running man to the side why it wasn't this it wasn't the I'll fucking show you I'll show you it was a different kind of dance and I was like right I said could you know I don't let me sketch dancing let's see no that 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 no 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 when was that? Ten years ago man Ten years ago Uh look at that under eleven stone look there under eleven stone troops Shocking Mm. Hi, I'm Sir Osis of Liver and welcome back to the Electric Circus. It's time for a live performance for you right now. This man is named Corey Feldman and the track is named Honesty on Electric Circus. Honesty. Yeah, right. Here we go now.
I've made my point. I think I made my point there. I think that's that. I think that's that chord. So basically, the dance that the guy did. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't the Melbourne Shuffle. It wasn't this dance. It was. It was something else. I said, "Can you do this?" I said, "You know, I don't want to go like that. You know, I'm not going to say it to the guy. Um, I'm sorry, mate, but um, there's been a mix-up here because I showed the producer this video." of like examples of the Melbourne Shuffle she was meant to get a dancer who can do that and you're not really familiar with it so you're gonna have to go you know I'm not, I'm not a fucking cunt um, so I, you know just showing my video you know uh, Melbourne Shuffle I said is that there see that there I says can you do that um, oh, I, I can I can give that a shot, right? Go. And he did something that was. It was it wasn't a Melbourne shuffle. Because it looks like something you've got to fucking learn. You don't you don't you don't just uh, go like that. Right, let's see. I'm a bit of a dancer. I'm a dancer. I'm a professional dancer. Right, let me have a wee look at the video. I can do that. Let's here we go. You got you got to kind of practice that a bit. So it wasn't his fault. So he did a dance that was kind of similar to it and I went, um, I said, I said, I just, 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 just do that then I, just do that. I probably, I think I maybe said, can I do it kind of fuck? What I was wanting, could park a bus on your forehead, let me. Um, this this is what I was on that's what I was on I don't wait a minute look at that look hey, wait Forget about that, he's just spinning, he's just doing a lot of spinning, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. See that? Do you see how, do you see? Do you see how, look. Look, that there. Is this still the city of love? Aye, thanks, thanks. Do you see the sliding, the sliding look? Do you see that there, look? Watch this. See that there? And then that, look, 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 look. That's what I was wanting. That's what I was wanting. It's kind of sidey ways fucking... It's almost like sidey ways, eh? Uh, what's that? Oh, aye. Wait, wait. Wait. That's kind of... But it's no... That's... That's not it. That's not it. Oh, you can only see. Because I'm saying... Uh, fuck. Right. Do that. Escape. Ah, uh, do that. Press wait. Uh -huh. Right, tab, right, 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 so if you have a look, turn that down, turn that down, right, do you see, see how it is there, it's, it, it's more like a stamping thing, see it, it's kind of, it. it's no, it's no quite, it's sort of, it's kind of, but it's, it's, Now, just to repeat, I'm no fucking slagging the guy off. The guy obviously had never done the Melbourne Shuffle before, but he looked at the video and he went, right, I'll get a shot. Right. So, for some day, you know, he'd never done it before, right? So, we just went with that. Right, we went with that and that was that. But it's just an example, everybody. Pal, it's like 88 thinks of three quid. Back the fuck up, he got a gun. 
Tom Cook, and Zyman, thanks for the subs. Gravity Dragon, thanks for 200 bits. Thank you very much. Keep on fucking trucking, man. Mr. Lucid and Raleigh Bonsworth, thanks for the subs and bits. Any chance you smash an absolute fuck out of a random vehicle? I'll get a red one for you, right? It's just another example, everybody, of... See where I wasn't involved. What is happening with my hair tonight, man? I mean, forehead's a forehead, but it's like, I don't know what he's happening. It's like a buffont. It's like, it's, not, it's, it's like pure Richard E. Grant fucking. Um, it's... It's just another example. Uh, see where I'm not absolutely got my claws right into some sort of thing that needs to get done. Something goes wrong. You say to the producer, don't have the time, but can you get a dancer? Who can do this dance in this video that I am currently showing you right now and I'm also going to send the link. That means that they look at the video, they go, yes I can do that dance and will be able to do that dance when we have a fucking studio with a camera and we're ready to go for the purposes of this fucking sketch or they say no actually I'm not familiar with that dance I could get a shot I can do something that's similar but to that level there it's just not something I've done I, I won't be able to do it it is I blame the producer and the time constraints and all the rest of it. But the, the, the thing is, the thing is, what, you, what you've got to understand is, see if you show, see if I'm, see if I'm interested in the Melbourne Shuffle, if I look at a video and I can see by looking at the feet what that dance is, if you show another person, a normal human being, they'll look at it and they will not be able to tell what it is that is happening in that video. Like, if I showed them Here's a video of somebody in the Melbourne Shuffle. And here's this guy. Ah, it's not the same. They would go like that. It look, no, it looks... I think the dancing's good. You'd be like, the dancing's good. But it isn't the dance that I wanted. And they'll look at you as if you're like that fucking cunt for the film Whiplash. Not quite my tempo. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. I just want it like that. I just want it like that. Um, so you get a few things like that. You get a few wee things like that. Stresses me, it stresses me just thinking about it. I'm so glad I've left it all behind, honestly. I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad I've left that behind. I think the last kick in the buzz for me,
was when the paperback for my autobiography came out. Um, and the Twitter accounts for the publishers, both like the main one, the kind of sub publishers, you know how you get these publishing houses or whatever, that are kind of owned by a bigger one, and the bigger one's owned by an even bigger one. You know how like you know how like everything's fucking run by about five companies. You know how like fucking chocolate and all that. You know like Unilever own fucking I don't know Cadbury and Cadbury owns this and they fucking own that. Um, or the other way around. I don't know. Um. Fuck was it? What was I talking about there? Aye, it was. It was like both the main publisher and a subsidiary. Is that how you pronounce it? Publisher, not a fucking peep. Not a single tweet. Nothing to tell people. Everybody. The Sunday Times bestseller. Even even if it wasn't, I don't even I didn't even think it was. I didn't even think it was, but I think apparently it was. When I say Sunday Times bestseller, it, you just need to get in the top ten. It doesn't it doesn't take much. If you sell about two thousand books one week in one week, you're in the top ten. You get to call yourself a Sunday Times bestseller. Um, and if you're doing a book tour and you've got advanced sales, you know, people like, they've already sort of pre-ordered it. You can get that to 2000 kind of, kind of easily. Mind you, I didn't date with that, a lot. Um, it was just at the beginning of the whole sort of coronavirus thing, people having to, you know, it was a bit of a mess, admittedly, right? So maybe people didn't know who was involved with something. Maybe somebody but didn't come into work and then somebody left it to somebody else and you would think this stuff would be all lined up in advance. Anyway The whole importance of the paperback is this. The hardback comes out first and then a year later the paperback comes out. The hardback is normally quite a bit more expensive because it's made of more expensive things. It's fucking harder. Less likely to be damaged. It's bigger. And maybe there's just a trend or... Um, what's that, Kate? It's not. The publishing industry has so much turnover. Isn't he what? Very expensive. I mean, it isn't very expensive to to make. Turnover in staff. I'm bound for the library, so I bet you. No, you mentioned that someone could have taken up all the task of tweeting promoting. Aye, aye, somebody, somebody's out, somebody's in, somebody's out, somebody's in. The Gravity Dragon is the arcade. Joe, thanks for the subs and bits. Mikey. Shaq, pal, thanks again for the subs, Cactus, thank you very much for the sub, this is still the stream I love, Arthur Red Dead Voice, I'm telling you, um, I'll be honest with you, and you aren't the only author who's complained things get dropped, it's unreal, um, I'll be honest with you, see that game, I'm getting fucking bored of it, man. I'm getting bored of it, but I'm going to complete it, and by the way, no spoilers, 
no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers, any spoilers, you'll get banned. But I know a lot of what happens. Like quite a while ago, I read up wee tips and all that and just I ended up accidentally spoiling it for myself. So I know, I know what happens at the end and things like that. Um, I don't really care. Um, remember, no spoilers. If any of you say it, you will get banned because there's other people who haven't fucking played it. Um, but I'm just getting a wee bit fed up of this. Arthur, come here a minute. I'm thinking we can head down to the thingy. Someday I want to speak to you about something. Right? Away we go on a horse. Chat about it. Then we get to some hoose. Bit of fight. Bit of shooting. The end. Next mission. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, well, what would he expect? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It looks nice. I really like blowing heads off. And honestly, see chucking one of the fire bottles, one of the petrol bombs that somebody's on a horse, just lobbing it just like out of the blue. Like Begby chucking that fucking pint glass. <clears throat> Big bitch up in the pink glass. Just walking by, just somebody who's just minding their own business, and I just go like that. But dish. The fucking horse on fire, the guy on fire. I love it, man. It's just fucking out of order. It's just, it's brutal. And that really gets my fucking heart, heart racing. Kelvin, it really tickles my fancy, it really pushes my buttons, pulls my levers. Calvin thinks the 300 bits. I may not agree with the killing of horses, but do you know if the horses' heads are obliterated with a shotgun? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I can try it. I doubt it. Mr. Sean Patrick, thanks for the sub. I have been, I have thought it. Nay cunt leaves this fucking town until we find out who chucked that fireball on that horse and guy on it. Right, but says, can you try round up every horse in the game and line them up on the train tracks? I think they would run away. Um, what was I saying before? I. So see that. See see. The, the paperback, no getting mentioned. I just thought, I don't like that. I don't like that. I had a book, that I wrote. And I went. I went in the book tour. All went. It all went well. And people liked the book. It's, it definitely the autobiography definitely went down. The, the the best out of the three books in terms of feedback and all the rest of it I think people just like biographies autobiographies quite a, a lot better than just short stories because you're, you're, you're finding out about a person Lynn Lynn loves biographies um, even if it's a bit kind of mundane um Just, just simply because it's real. So it was good writing it, and and people buying it, and then going on the tour and talking about it, and and it's good, especially good to hear talk, people talking about mental health stuff that, that in some way helped them in some sort of sense. Reading about somebody or hearing if it's an audio book, somebody just rabbiting on about wee problems that they've got, and that wee feeling that oh, I thought it was just me, you know that kind of feeling. A desk thanks for the 613 sub. Everything is a lie, big beige, your dad. Only truth is, the only truth is clean is not dirty. 
Thank you very much, Ed Desk. If you want to just proceed to the kitchen, get yourself a nice wee drink of water, and head to your bed. Kettle Cake says, still think you could have written to your agent or editor and sorted it. They're usually responsive when you remind them. You know what the fantastic thing about this is, Kate? I do not give a fucking shit anymore about sorting it out, about righting the wrong. I'm not interested anymore. I'm not interested in righting the wrong. I'm interested in a wee whine, a wee moan, a wee reminder to myself of what it is I'm glad I've left behind. But, um, I, it's just, I wrote this book, so see the paperback. You have these expectations if you make things, teleprograms. Hello, Ian Stirling. You have these expectations, making a teleprogram, writing a book, whatever it is, making a fucking website. You've worked on something for quite a while, I wonder how it's going to go down. And then you find out, and, um. I just had I just had that in my mind that I just had this in my mind, right? This is what I had in my mind. I'm writing an autobiography, right? And you want people to kinda like it. But you also don't want to like you want people to like it, you want people to you want people to be interested in it, and there's also it also sort of fucks your mind a bit because you're like I'm writing about my life, why do I want people to like it? Why do I want people to like it? I hope you... It, it's kind of pathetic in a way. Like imagine you, you weren't actually publishing a book, but you had written like an autobiography. Just, you just typed it up. You just typed it up as a fucking document, right? And you, and you, and you saved it off as a PDF and you sent it to a fucking pal. And you said, go on and read this. I hope you like it. Like, what? I, ho I, I really hope you like the story of my life. Why? Just... Uh, why? You hope that I find you interesting. I don't get it. What, what is it hoping for? Do you know what I mean? It can sort of fuck your head a wee bit. Like, why am I writing this? Because you've been asked. All right, well, refuse it. Refuse it. You have to, in some way, think that you're interesting. You have to. You have to, in some way, think that you've got a story to tell, and every con has. But. You, in a way, you've got to go that to yourself. Um, you, you, just, you just got to know, think about it. <clears throat> but anyway, I just thought, right, a few people have said, like, to the, the hardback, a few kind of notable people, just one or, t one or two celeb sort of types, just one or two said that they liked it. And I thought, you know the sort of thing, name names I can't actually remember. I'm scared of saying in case you laugh and go, is that it? Is that all? Um, you know that way that you would then put on the paperback so that people got what, like in a shop go, what's this in? What's this? And they pick it up and it says, oh, there's Thingy, there's Thingy, there's Thingy. I sort of like say Richard Osman pointless, let's say, or Richard Herring. A lot of Richards. 
I don't know if a man don't you know what she said he liked I don't I don't know. But that aside that aside, sometimes you put quotes on a book um that aren't specifically about the book, but they're just like Lemmy is a true comedy genius. Imagine something like that, right? And it's they're talking about your telly programme though. Or just it's just an off the cuff fucking tweet and you're like it's snatch. But it would have been possible to get some quotes on the, the paperback, you know, you stick it on the back or in the cover like Oh look, they like it. It must be good then because they're clever and funny. I don't think there was any of that. I don't think there was any of that. I don't think there was any of that. And you know, it just it just got farted out. <laughs> no one fucking tweet. <laughs> no one fucking tweet. A bit of publicity, what so fucking ever that I noticed to say everybody the paperback is it it's this book that we think you'll like but no it's like half the price in a convenient paperback form that can fit in your pocket if you sort of roll up a wee bit we think you're gonna love it. Nothing. So it, it was good to just go, I, I don't, it, this is worth a moan, but I no longer, because of your, gener your generosity, everybody, I no longer have to think to myself, oh, that guy is the day in that dance right and that telepro and and that and that sketch. Oh, the DVD isn't how I wanted it. Oh, they don't want to do the third series DVD commentary. They're going to release it because they're not sure about maybe the sales of the second one and this other reason and this other reason. Oh, the thing is getting taken off of Netflix. I wonder why. I better get in touch with them. Let me show. Is it getting put somewhere else? I don't know what's going on. Oh, the paperback didn't get tweeted out. Nobody need, need said a word about it. I don't have to think about a fucking... I don't have to think about any anymore. All I need today... is turn up here. That's it. Turn up here. Click fucking start streaming. And start the fucking morning. Commence the morning. Pap and Silver. Thanks for the subs. Gritty, Turbo, Teen, thanks for three quid. Bang. 14% damage. That's alright. I took my eyes off. I took my eyes off it. No, it's gubbed. It's gubbed. I've been going through the VODs and I'm very touched by your zero tolerance policy towards homophobia. Can't wait to resub later this week. P.S. What did you think of Edith Finch since that VOD seems to have been lost? Thanks for everything. Um, I... I um, have said to the mods, I think there's a general feeling in here of what I want, what I don't, and what I'm going to put up and what I'm not. Um, and I'm glad you like it. Uh, Edith Finch, I liked, I liked Edith Finch, but I don't, I don't know if I fucking streamed it. I think I streamed it. I think I did. I think I did. Bang! It was like fucking PlayStation or something. Um, 
go. That'll do it. I streamed it on YouTube, but I deleted the VOD, right? Doctor Wave and Doink Zone. Thanks for subs. Da, na, 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 da, da. I wonder if there's any games that I would um, stream again. Look, I wonder if there's any games uh, that I would go look at. I've already completed it. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, fucking Permahida. Firewatch. Da 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 da. Obradin. Obradin is kind of unstreamable due to the compression, due to the graphics. Um, you can It's very hard to. The, the video compression doesn't honour it. See a thieves is good. Don't believe I've played that. You'd like to see me stream that again, would you? Ritzo and Mark, thanks for subs. Thanks for the laughs. Brian Dog Killer Lemon, that wasn't me. Hello, Zaffer Cakes. Listen, Zaffer Cakes, I don't know if you get notified. No, I'm not interested in Sea of Thieves. I had a look at it and. No. Is that for cakes? I do apologise, but I left your Discord. Just disgusted. I'm disgusted. No. Is that for cakes? Um, I noticed that I was on your Discord, Dando's Discord, 1030JH's Discord, Sacriel's Discord, Minecraft Discord. And there was another Discord and another Discord. And I was never actually in them looking at anything. I've kind of. It's just not something that I do, you know, reading through messages and stuff like that. I barely fucking do it with my end Discord. So I'd already left a Discord that was for games organising because a new one had popped up that everybody was going into for some reason. And I thought, would I go into? Would I go into? I thought, just, just leave, leave one. Stick with the, this new one, and if somebody says, where the fuck are you? Then you can go back in it. Uh, and I thought, well, I'm at it. Leave that one, leave that one, leave that one, and leave that one. Because you don't, you don't go in. <laughs> just to tidy up, just to tidy up the claw. Just to tidy it up. Blam, thanks to 200 bits. Finally back working and feeling like life's worth living. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Pick that up. It's a scary feeling when you feel that life's worth living because then you're scared of fucking losing it all, man. You're scared of losing it, man. Do you know this is a genuine feeling? A genuine feeling I had. Somebody tweeted me about some HSBC bank advert. They said, oh, you'll love this. And it's like a, an advert, and it says something like, we're helping businesses build their new different their T-H-E-I-R you know how you get your new the, the new normal this is the new normal 
we're helping UK businesses build their new different you know different as if it's like a noun instead of a fucking adjective you know how you get the find you're happy not find that you are happy you know not a contraction of you are instead of saying like find your happiness the noun find you're happy the adjective and there's all that find you're fit all that shit that's been going on for years now and I thought when's it going to stop and I saw something recently where there was an opportunity to do that again and they didn't it was it was like you know find your Find your fucking dream, find your, find your joy, instead of find your joyful. Um, and I read that one, we're helping UK businesses build their new different. And this is a feeling that I get, you're going to think I'm exaggerating here, but I'm not. And I tweeted about it. One of the good things about it is it, it, it's so fucking sickening, that part, that I feel that I don't want to be here anymore. Now, I don't mean in terms of suicide, right? But I honestly think to myself, because I have been suicidal in the past, I get, I get me suicidal things, I don't fucking mean that. Um, I'm not part of fuck that. Uh, but see when things are that shit, the part is that fucking bad, I actually do think to myself, I'm at peace with dying. Like as in the concept of fucking dying, you know, dying at old age or whatever. There are times when I'm no at peace with that because I'm like, I don't want to die. I don't. Let's go there. I don't want to die. I don't want to miss out on all the things. You know, I don't want to miss out on everything. I want to stay alive and be around and experience things and, and I go, I experience fucking what? What, 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 like, you know, you know, you're 46, but you're not like fucking old age, fucked with arthritis, yet you can still go, what is he actually want to do? Well, not go anywhere, but just, you know, just enjoy things. And I want to see what's coming in the future, you know, how we had the internet. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. And then I see sh fucking shite like that. We're helping UK businesses build their new different. And I think I'm going to be at peace when I'm lying on my deathbed, hopefully in old age. Because I know that I want to be missing a fucking thing. I know that I want to be missing it on anything to come because we are at the tail end of patter. We are at the tail end. Holograms, like see that holograms? That's a perfect example. Where are the fucking big holograms? We're having to lie to ourselves of what holograms are in order to make things more exciting. So I want to thank them for coming out with that because they've made me at peace with the idea of passing away in my old age. Because everybody's full of fucking shit, man.
don't you just know that when you're on your deathbed and you think you've seen it all, you've heard it all and that everybody's full of shit, you know that as you're lying in that hospital room, let's say, if you're lucky enough, and you've got a wee room to yourself and there's a wee telly, you know that for the first time in about 30 fucking years, something's going to appear on that telly, it's like the funniest cunt you've ever seen in your life. Some programme just starting and it is funny as fuck. And this new thing's just been invented and it is some fucking part. Everybody's having such a giggle with it and then you're like, no, 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 no. And then you die. Or it'll be something like, imagine this, imagine this, you're on your deathbed and somebody says, you need to see Simon Cowell's new face. What? Let me see. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, I left the phone in the house. I'll bring it the morrow. Oh God, that's right. Sorry, Grandad, we're, we're switching off your machine the day. You'd be like, no, fuck, 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 fuck. No. Finn Barrow and Eldaro, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the subs, thank you very much. Ronnie. How did your day go, your baldy skid mark? Cheers, mate. Very good, thanks. Big as, thanks for the sub, mate. Matty, thanks for the fiver. Amnesia, I'm not interested. Not interested. Not interested. Horrid games. Horror games don't end for me. Scary games don't end. Please! Please. Simon Cowell's face in 10 years from now. I want to be there. If the technology existed, would you upload yourself like in the black mirror? Um, probably no. Because uh, I would hate the idea that somebody could use my eternal digital existence and turn it into hell. Some hacker might get into it and go, let's make them all feel like they're burning in hell. I know I would. I know I would. I was tweeting the day that yesterday I said to Lynn do you know what I just realised I think my favourite band and I've not even really thought about this before because I've never regarded myself as like a fan of them I think my favourite band is Depeche Mode just thinking about you know like behind the wheel stripped uh, get the balance right Strange love, question of lust, question of time, the things you said, um, world demise, policy of truth, personal Jesus which I'm a wee bit sicker, enjoy the silence which I'm a wee bit sicker. New life, I like that. Never let me down again. Um, 
I just like the feeling. I like that Martin Gore right? So I don't I don't know why it's the wee the wee blonde guy that right? So I liked watching the Pesh Wood One Hundred One concert video. Um, I thought I like them as a band, and I like the music, and it's all kind of a bit dark and all that. And I like the electronic way, it, the layer stuff. When it gets a bit kind of rocky, guitar-y, I'm like, nah, nah. Like, I feel you, it's kind of alright, but I'm no really into it. Lofi and Finn Barrow, Eldaro thinks of subs. Dando, I can explain myself. Dando, I decided to leave uh, various Discord uh, channels because I never really go into any Discord channels and I had left the game organising podcast one because there was a new one that came up so I left that one and then while I was at it I left all these other ones just trying to explain myself here Um. So, there's a new I uh, Discord is overwhelming. I know I don't. I don't. I, as I was saying earlier, I don't even read my own one. I just read the the t the channel on it. Um, Lemmy's Twitch. That's it. I don't read the general one. I don't read the art one or you know any, anything. Anyway, I said to Lynn, I think actually Depeche Mode's my favourite band. She says, what? No. I says, I says, first I says, see if you can guess. And she said, Def Leppard. I went, no. But I did like a, a lot of their things. In a fun sort of pop rock sort of way. She said, I don't know, Human League. And I went, oh. Actually. I went, no, no, no. She went, I don't want to guess in there, what? Depeche Mode. She went, all right. She said, what, no, like, erasure? And when she said that, I went, oh, hi. And after that, I also thought, uh, Pet Shop Boys. I thought the fucking Pet Shop Boys. I'm actually changing my mind right now. I use a controller. How many, how many Pet Shop Boys songs do I like? If I think about discography. For starters, West End Girls, Love Comes Quickly, Suburbia, It's a Sin, um, Rent, What Have I Done to Deserve This, Domino Dancing, um, Being boring, so hard. And then other ones, um, I like Liberation, I like Home and Dry. I like I'm Not Scared. And I like their other sort of things they did with other people, like Losing My Mind, Liza Minnelli. Um, nothing has been proved. Dusty Springfield. Uh, in private, Dusty Springfield, I think. I like tons of her stuff. I want a dog like that. Don't pure love it, but 
erasure. Who needs love like that? Sometimes, always. Blue Savannah. Breath of Life. Chorus. Circus. I love tons of, I love tons of stuff. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. I only like about three of their fucking songs. I listened to their album. Um, was their album called Welcome to the Pleasure Dome as well? A lot of it was fucking shite. Didn't it, it didn't sound like them. Jay thinks the 200 bits. Playing Dead by Daylight tonight? No. Just about a good old trucking. Good old trucking the chit chat. August Latrine thinks the 200 bits. It's a sin do I always on my mind as well, yeah. Even though they obviously didn't write it, but Odd but all. I only really like a few songs are. Oh, but I had a few other albums, but it it's it was more a kind of odd oh, for me were a kind of stick one of their, their albums on and just leave it on and just sort of have it on the brown album or whatever it is. Snivelization. Talking Heads, not really. I like about five of their songs. Maybe just four. I used to be really be into the orb. Hard to listen to them these days at all. Can I make my fucking roads here? Underworld. Used to love them. Hard to listen to them. I don't know, it, it's weird to see one of the things I liked about Underworld. It's kind of new what I don't like about them. <clears throat> like, they felt a bit, I don't know, a bit kind of cool or something. I still like them, I still like certain, certain songs. But, um, what would you call it? A bit scene I just remember there was a there was a design agency at the time at like late nineties called Tomato who were closely linked way underworld <clears throat> and that was meant to be a kinda cool thing and I thought oh, aye that's kinda cool and everything and kind of almost associate Underworld now with that wanky design agency sort of scene even though I really like, I really loved um, Buku Fish, that album Like, see the song King of Snake? I used to listen to that all the time. Now, now for some reason it almost makes me fucking cringe. Don't know why. Thanks for the sub, that person. I don't know, I don't know what writing that is, what language that is, but thanks. Jay thinks it's turning about a thanks again, sorry. Thank you, sorry. I don't like heavy metal, no. Deacon Blue, worst band ever. I like quite a few Deacon Blue songs. I'm not into Dignity because I've heard it so fucking much. I think my favourite one of theirs is Chocolate Girl. 
just kind of sounds nice. Sonic Youth, no. I used to be really into the Smiths, but then kind of went off them. Can I fucking bear to hear them now because of Morrissey? The, the, I like the beating generation, but I don't know any of the other stuff. Nine Inch Nails, no. New Order, I quite a few New Order songs. It's funny how, like, say, say, like, New Order, right? And I like, um, like, say, like, True Faith, right? And I go, right, I'm going to listen to the album that that's on, or something like Thieves Like Us, or whatever it is, is it that? Or Vanishing Point, or something. And I go, right, I'm going to listen to the album that Vanishing Point's on. And I listen to it, and, like, this, I don't, I don't know if this is the case, I can't quite remember. But I remember thinking, every fucking song here's, I, I don't like any of these songs. But you know how sometimes it takes a while? But I, like, I instantly didn't like them. I don't like Blondie, no. Bronsky beat, I like some Bronsky beat. Stuff. Early Prodigy. I remember getting offended um, when a lassie that I knew wanted to be listen to my Walkman. I was listening to Experience by the Prodigy, the album Experience. I think it's called experience. You look shattered. I'm fine. I'm I'm a bit tired, but I'm actually no bad. What time is it? Um And she went, right, let let's let's hear it. And I gave her the earphones. She's like, oh right, she says, I think I've heard that. I said, let me hear another one. And I think I turned the tape here. Back in the days, turned the table. She went, <laughs> she went like that. <laughs> Just sounds the exact same. Cause it's all that fucking like pure fast kind of breakbeat sort of thing. And I remember being like fucking offended. What? Like, not Disney. You know, way she just laughed at my like tasting music. She was right. She was. She was actually right. She was quite right, actually. Incredible. Thanks to two hundred bits. What's the worst song you've heard this year? Um. At that uh, dance monkey one, whatever it's called. In Welsh, BK Gaming, thanks for the subs. <sighs> I've got 12 hours left in this drive in the game. An hour in the game. It's like four minutes in real time. So I'll wait, I'll, when I've done that, I'll go to bed, right? That'll take us up to about one in the morning. So I've got about another three quarters an hour. 
Is that eight? Four? Aye. Dire Straits. I remember going up to like a, a cousin's house. We were at my uncle and auntie's house and they had this stereo with these like good headphones. Just no, it would be like normal headphones by today's standards. And I was listening to Brothers in Arms, that album. Is that what it was called? That was the album, isn't it? Um, with the headphones on. And I was listening to like Money for Nothing, that intro, and I was like, fucking hell, that sounds brilliant. But when I was wee. You know, all building up. It's like fucking. That's like fucking brilliant, man. The headphones. Sounds fucking brilliant. I felt like getting showered in the fucking ears. And see, I, I then I think I bought it um, when I was a wee bit older, still a teenager, and I used to love listening to um, So Far Away uh, at, at, at night. It just sounded, it just sounds, I just, I just love how it sounds, the production. Cunts for Glasgow, did you know that? I know you grew up in Newcastle or something, but Cunts for Glasgow. Cunts for Glasgow, man. ACDC and all. It's not an urban myth. For Glasgow. I don't like songs or swing, that's, that's still my cup of tea. That sort of music. I prefer that that crystal clear fucking sparkle that you get with um, Brothers in Arms. Hip hop, no. These lights, fuck it. Aerosmith, no. The doors, I used to like the doors. Genesis, no. Prince, oh, I Prince. Love Prince. Honestly, again, listen to fucking 1999 about three times a day. Can I get enough of it? The, the, the song, I mean. Jack Scotland thinks of three quid. Let me have you noticed the rise in Americans type an I. As if it sounds like A. Shocking man, want to get him told. Eh, uh, you what? Type an I as if it sounds like A. I is how you type. Like when I say I, that's right. I yes, that's that's how you, that's how it's typed. That's your kind of standard way of doing it. What do you mean? Sierra Foxtrot, thanks for the sub. Los Angeles, uh, West Coast, the United States of America. Um, Moby, I liked Go at the time. I liked uh, Porcelain or whatever the fuck it is. Moby turned out to be a bit of creep or something, did they know? Said something about, what did they say? Did they say something like, What's her name? Probably it was in 
Star Wars. Natalie Portman said, "Oh, I used to, she used to come round to mine, and now I could tell that she she was a fan of mine or something." I think she said something like, "No, no, he used to come round to mine, and I didn't know that he thought about me like that or something." I can't remember. She was she came out and said something. She actually came out and said something. It was, it was enough for it to do that. I like, um, there's a song that he had called Every Time You Touch Me that I didn't know, but I, I know it through QFX. Hopefully I don't get DMCA'd. I just, I just love how fucking simple walk about Newcastle. Is it? Oh. Smeek. Smeek. I'm going to go down this. I'm going to go to that mark. I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to go down here. Smeek. Here we go, Advil. Right, man, hurry up. Oh, this is it. This is Smeek. Uh, these are the guys that bumped into Newcastle that said, Here, I've got an idea for a sketch or something. Um, imagine, like, there's these guys trying to sell heroin to Wayne's, but so that it's kind of palatable. Call it Smeek. Hi, of course. Oh, another advert, good. I had a shot last night, but I was going to come to one in Boston. The tickets can be back in. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Like, more appealing to children on the market, just like a funny thing. Right. What you, do, you know the word smart? It's like a harsh, aggressive word. Right, 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 listen. I'm telling myself so I can hear it. Thank, thank you very much. I've got like this theory which I thought you might appreciate. It's my theory of how to like make heroin more appealing to children on the market. It's just like a funny thing. Because what you do, you know the word smack? It's like a harsh, aggressive word. And it's like little kids, you say, do you want a gram of smack? And you say, no. Why do you want a gram of smack? So you I'll try and turn that up. I'll try and turn it up. Keep a wee second. Desktop audio, filters, compressor. Right, I'm going to bump this right fucking up, right? Get ready. Change it to Smeek. So right. it's just kids here, do you want to grab a Smeek? Oh, it's just like a soft lip. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, hi, right, cool. Hold on. Brace yourself. Like a grammar sneak. I know. I'm sorry. It's probably. Fuck. Right, hold on. I never, I never needed to do that. Sorry about that. Sorry. Let me turn that off. You know. Right. right, here we go. Here we go. Here, here we go. A weird humor, but I'm not. It's just thought about it. I know, and I like, might be, I, you might be able to do something a bit like smacking wings. What they're saying is. Got an idea for like material for something like kind of sketch or something, you know, uh, to make smack, you know, heroin to make heroin more appealing to children. So instead of you know how the word smack has got a kind of harsh way to it, what we'll about smeek? This is what they're saying. It's like no, thank, thank, I can a fucking year. <laughs> Can I just say, like, your humour is fucking so godly. Good. Like, no thanks one else's humour has it's ever clicked this good. It's so thank, thank you very much. <laughs> I've got, like, this theory which I thought you might appreciate. It's my theory of how to, like, make heroin more appealing to children on the market. Just, like, a funny thing. Because right. what you do, you know the word smack? It's Aye. like a harsh, aggressive word. Okay? And it's like little kids who say, do you want a gram of smack? And you say, no. Aye. Why would I want a gram of smack? So you change it to smeek. 
So you right. just kiss you. Do you want a gram of sweet? And it's just like a soft little like hi, right, cool. So like a gram of sweet. I know. And so hi. The, it's probably weird to you, but I'm not. It's just thought about it. And, and I, I like, might be, I, might be able to do something a bit like smacking wings. Like you, yes. know, you don't want, you know, you're not it's, smacking wings is a bad thing. So exactly. So if you change it to sweet, then it'll just be like hi, sound. It's like love it. I, 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 I didn't know what to do with that theory, but I just thought I'd tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the show? You could try it, go in the schools or something. And exactly. Some sweet. Exactly, because then the heroin dealers, they're all like, oh yeah, I'm making loads of money. Get the kids off the street. Get some, like, you know, it's just a bit of fun, really. <laughs> I will let, let, let me know how you fucking go. <laughs> hey guys, this is live streaming right here, so I'm probably get, I'm going to get done for this. So I'm going to. Thank you very much. Thank you hey, so cheers. Much. Thanks a lot. See cheers. Big Bad Wolf thanks for the bits. Big shout out to your pal Fraser what the McDonald's hello there. Sheriff thanks for three quid. What are you gotta do about it? Call the police. <laughs> it's phone the police. Gil Scott thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Blams Russ thanks for three hundred bits. Uh, Blams Russ, just hold on, hold, hold in there. Um, I can't give any advice about no fucking talking yourself. Maybe the last cunt you want to fucking talk to me, but uh, it's going to be our mate. The coronavirus thing's going to be our. You're going to be at that fucking house. Keep the fucking faith. Keep the fucking faith. I so. W w Listen, I know I'm kind of mocking them, going, oh, ha, 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 but um, but but See if you're out there, mate. Know that enough times past that pattern was fucking shite. There we go. I've said it. Good. That's it. I've said it. Why did I go? Oh, wait, why did I go in there though? Oh, everything. I now remember. Hardest job in the world, by the way. Cunts coming up to you. Oh, like hotel room drinking relapse. Brilliant. Um, uh, every time you touch me, Moby. I'm not into that. The one I know is a remake cover version by Scottish band. QFX. As far as I'm concerned, that's your that's your standard dance here. That's your that's that's your template. You start with that, and then you then you change for that. That's your standard. That should be your um, when you open up Ableton. Ultrasonic. I was never. I was never into ultrasonic. I was never. I don't think I liked any ultrasonic stuff. My pals liked them, but they were. They weren't they happy enough for me. They weren't they happy. So there's seven things to turn bits. Smeet t-shirts win. Fucking never, man. Lash, thanks for the 18 month three sub. Loving that shade of colour on the wall behind you. Any idea what it was? It was white. Got me a trip, sir. You got to think laterally. Oh, somebody wanted me to bang into a motor. T 
TTF, I like TTF. I mean, I, I, some of the songs later on got a bit samey and all the rest of it, but... New Emotion kind of sounded like... Um, there, there, was, there, was a, there was there was like Real Love, right? And then Real Love, like the kind of like whatever it was, 90-something, uh, 93 or something. Um, it was New Emotion, but then there was that other one. What was it? New... It's like a new emotion, and then there was another one that was dead like it. No, 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 there's real love, there's new emotion. They also did a kind of Jurassic Park thing. New emotion. Um, the ultimate high is that what it was you know it was, it was, it was kind of formulaic but at the end of the day it's fucking 90s dance you know you're not just going to suddenly fucking change the way you make tunes lose everything lose it all how come I'm, I'm going like that what was this like real love TTF did real love Americana I remember it's like a, an argument in the papers TTF and Americana part ways John Campbell or whatever his name is saying nobody's bigger than the band she thought she was bigger than the band She's no bigger than the band. And I remember reading at the time, oh, well, this is big news, man. This is big news. What are they going to do now without Mary Keane? You DJ'd with him 200 years ago. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? It's like a new emotion. New emotion. Thank you very much for the raid. Marilyn Marilyn Robertson Nope, try again. Bullshit. Did I get that right? Is it Marilyn or is it Marilyn or is it Marilyn? Or is it Marilyn? Could you please cap Marilyn? Marilyn. I get it. So you can stream games now, Magic. I'd fucking hate. I I I, I hate to think of what the fucking in the connection is. Is like up there in Shetland. Probably very neglected. Robbie Pearson, thanks for the subs. Everybody, Marilyn there is in Shetland. To get there, you've got to go all the way in the north of Scotland. You've got to then get a ferry and then you get off the ferry and you've got to get another ferry and then you've got to get off that, drive for a bit and then get another ferry and then walk 
and then another 30. If you need to get to Shetland in a hurry, you can forget it. No, you can't go up there. Closest you can get is Aberdeen. The only way you're getting to Shetland in a hurry is a helicopter. Hey, it's Az. Thanks for the, the sub. What a feeling, what a feeling. New emotion. Here comes the rain again by Eurythmics. It's got the word, it's got the term new emotion into uh, in it, into it. Run on my head like a new emotion. Eurythmics, I like them. Uh, who's that girl? Sweet Dreams. My favourite Eurythmics songs are When Tomorrow Comes. I think that's my favourite actually, When Tomorrow Comes. Um, here comes the rain again. She's not fake less because she's I like Sex Crime 1984. It's alright, baby's coming back. If that's the full name. Whoops, a daisy. Right, fuck it, go to the garage. In fact, don't. You're alright, you're alright, you're alright. You're alright. You're not alright, garage. Here. Name a band. I can name ten of their fucking songs right here now. One bundle. Like, see, Spice Girls, right? Like, that's it. I'm just gonna do Spice Girls, right? Just the Spice Girls. Ten songs. Here we go. Right, here we go. Um, what was that? What was that fucking song called? Anyways, it was it wanna be. Wanna be. Well done. Wanna be. I think. Uh, to become one. Stop. Goodbye, or well, goodbye, my friend. What the fuck it is? Um, Holla. Who do you think you are? I'm giving you everything. That's what it's called. I'm giving you everything. Uh, Um, come on, come on, come on, three male. Um, picture them, see them, see them doing it, see them doing it. Hell. Christmas ones. Is that it? Right. I'm I'm fucking out. I can only name seven space girls, so come on. Right, I'm ready to look. I'm ready to look at the chat. Just to be saying, my friend, na, 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 na. <gasps> Mama. 
as eight. Did they did they do like a comic relief one or anything? Did they do like kind of dance? Did dum dum? Did they do kind of did they do right now? Did they do anywhere? No, right, I'm ready. Here we go. Spice up your fucking life. Stop, I've done that. Viva forever. Goodbye, I've done goodbye. Say you'll be there. See? Say you'll be there. When's that again? If you say you'll... Yeah, Oh, is it? Is that the? I'm giving you everything. Well, I don't know, is that? Right, right. To become one, I did that. Say you'll be there, right? Again, I just promise you'll be there. Bet he can't name five NSYNC songs. No, I can't. Can name five Backstreet Boys ones. No bother. But I'll do that when I'm driving. Um, let's get this delivery done. Hold on. Um, I think they had one called I'll Never Break Your Heart. I'm going to start with that one. I'll never rain. Nah, 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 nah. Is that one? Um, did they have another one called like, Shape of My Heart, Shape of My Love or something? Disney Mall. Let's go with the standard ones. Let's go with the standards. Backstreet's Back. All right, whoever it is, Backstreet's Back. Um, um, I want it that way, and what's that? What's that other one? The back streets back, right? Back streets back. I want it that way. Larger than life. Um, I'll never break your heart. But what's that one? What's that other big one? Like, just, just show me the meaning. Show me the meaning. Of being, don't care who you are. As long as you love me, that's it. That's it. No diggity. Black Street Boys. What were they called again? No diggity. Who are they? Who are they? Like the way you work it, no diggy. Black Street. It's funny how that, how important that wee bit is in that whole fucking song. That's the main bit, isn't it? I mean, other than the words. The hook. Oh, I'm so sorry. What you mean, the hook? Steven, thanks for gifting the five subs. Bionia, thanks for the, the 22 month three sub, mate. Shinzuk, thanks for the sub. Eight months of laughs, you're welcome. Sinead Plays, thank you very much for the 12 month three sub. Happy birthday to us. Sinead Plays, I know you're getting your streaming room and all the, all the rest of the kind of room set up, but please get back to streaming soon. We miss you. We miss you. 
everybody can I get a shout out for Bex Chat right there Bex Chat everybody who has just started streaming isn't an affiliate yet but with your help will be As I was saying the other night, my favourite type of kind of stream. Somebody sitting there, facing the camera, chatting away. Chatting about what they're drinking. Chatting about not knowing what to chat about. Basically, a human right there, chatting away to the chat. A man, baby. Thanks for the sub. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Jackie Stallone was ninety fucking eight. Is that right? Ninety eight. 93, 95, what was she? What was she? 95? Yeah, Jackie, huh? Yeah, Jackie. She was in the bastard in fucking 90s, man. Nineties. Just to let you know, by the way, just to give you fair warning, I'm gonna be living in my nineties, at least. Very fucking least, man. So, I so this DMCA thing then, should I delete absolutely every bastard and thing? Andy says no, so he's obviously going to get me into trouble. I thought they were doing that. They're doing it. I thought Twitch was auto deleting. Is that right? I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I didn't get the email. I didn't get it. Um, well, I'm going to download a few like clips, a few wee um, bits and pieces. They auto delete, they're, they're getting rid of everything. Right. I'll delete it anyway. A few wee bits and pieces and then get rid of a lot of it. Dinner ladies and co and Albus guys, thanks for the subs. You're welcome. Everybody, this channel has recently crossed the threshold of quarter of a million followers. Quart of a million including thousands of bots 
I'm sure it's, I think it's happened to quite a few years. You're sitting there one day and you're looking at your stats and then you're looking at there's a there's the wee, there's a chart. That amount of followers, that amount of followers, that amount of new followers, that amount of fuck you. Three thousand followers out of nowhere. Five thousand on the one day. Life da 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 Hate them. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm talking about the hate one. Rach thinks the 213 sub would say the best money I've ever spent but I've not spent I think that's right because you're using a prime subscription a free prime subscription I won't bore, I won't bore you with that I won't bore you as well that tonight it's straw oh sorry it is jets we've got approximately two minutes left in this drive Approximately two minutes left. Look at that, look, look, look at that. You can stick your red dead up your arse, man. Look at that sky there. Have you ever seen graphics like it? I've never seen graphics like it in my life. You can stick your red dead up your arse. Top five horror films, let me. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, original, of course. Um. I was going to say The Shining, but I kind of went off it since everybody keeps fucking slagging it off. Various bits here, but The Shining. It's not perfect. Um, what else? What else? Fuck, what else do I like? I just thought Halloween was alright actually. I watched Hall Halloween recently with Daniel. I thought it's alright. Midsummer I liked It wasn't perfect, but I quite liked it. Mother, would you call that horror? Babadook wasn't that in there. Hereditary wasn't that in there. Tenebrae, I watch bits of it. It follows, I really liked it. It follows up to about halfway through when it started to get CGI and I gave up. The witch got bored. The thing, I thought I liked the thing, watched it a few years ago for the first, uh, first time in a while. I actually got a bit bored. The Evil Dead got a bit bored. The Fog. I quite like The Fog actually, it's no, no, no one of my favourites, Friday the 13th, no. Sinister, I liked it at the time but it was a, I think it was going through a drought. The Mist, no, effects are terrible, terrible effects. Drag Me to Hell, no, uh, no. What actually scares me? Nothing really. Misery. It's not really a horror. I'd say. Under the skin. They call it really that. A horror. 
it? No, not even nearly. The omen? I quite like. I um, don't look now. I've got to watch that again. The Exorcist, quite like that, but no. Barely a fucking horror, really. I know, I know it is a horror, but. Fuck me, man. I was like, fuck all. Suspiria are light bits. I'm just realising I don't like fucking it, man. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, original. Definite. It's one of my favourite films. Never mind horror. Um, seven. Quite like Seven. It's made a thriller, though. Would you agree? Was it real? Right, when you go then. No. You know a film that's kind of like a horror, but it isn't a horror, that I'd really like? Um, Wake and Fright. I've told you, I've mentioned it before, but uh, Wake and Fright. A psychological thriller. There's a fucking film. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's no... It's an unpleasant film, and, and, and uh, if you're if you're up for it, it's got to be five. It's got to be five. Takes his chainsaw massacre, no doubt. The Shining. Come and see is no so much horror as a kind of um based on based on fact kind of. No. Dracula, um, uh, the Omen, Carrie, an American Wolf in London. I like that. That hairline, though. Aye, right, sorry. Sorry, folks. Wickham Man. I, I, I did like Midsummer. Loved, loved the cliff, but... I did like Evil Dead. Uh, right. Cuffin thinks of three quid. Have you considered playing Phasmophobia? I just don't, I just don't like that fucking game. And when 1030 played it, he confirmed, reconfirmed, if you know what I mean, that he was just like, that. I'm fucking in it. I was like, that. I'm not either. Ladies and gents, we have got streaming from the PlayStation. Paul Sin 2, who is Paul McCaulfey. Let me show.
Has he got a heat settling? Yes. Um, because I've been I've been saying it, I'm gonna get on get, get, get on fucking Twitch, get on Twitch. Likes like a spider thinks the twelve point three sub happy anniversary. Why don't you stream your bike rides anymore? Don't want people knowing where I'm. Mister Canister thinks the four pounds fifty five. Hello Germany, hello there. I know you don't understand. It's it's a hard form of English. To get your heater in. Um, Helbus goes thanks to three quid. Would you say Midsummer Cliff bit electrified your present? I don't know what that means. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank fuck you came in at the end there, mate. Because if you started off with that sort of like nonsense and you kept it up during the whole stream, I think I would have ended the stream seriously fucking depressed or angry your present mean present in time or an actual gift let me do you want to see if Paul has mods in oh right he doesn't no mods Aye, fuck it, no. I'll mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember to mention it to him. You don't, because there will be all sorts of fucking chaos happening. Right, let's see then. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see. Oh, so he's hosting him. Right, hold on. Got to refresh. Let me just check something. Here's somebody who's came, right, well... Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. No. No. Right, how about you? How's about... You? Fuck it, yep. Fuck it, yep. Right. Rhymes for ages on. I've not been in Rhymes for Age for fucking ages. Absolute ages. Sometimes, see if I don't see somebody run here a lot. Um. I kind of deprioritise them, if you know what I mean. I just think they're no sort of run here, they're no kind of... You might get people who look, though. They might like coming in, having a wee look, and fucking off. So I'm not like, you don't chat, so you can fuck off. But it's just that if there's people who are in the chat, and there's streamers in the chat way, and they feel they're a part of the community and all the rest of it, then I would like to strengthen that community feeling by raiding and things like that. I think somebody's just popped in. They've said three things. 
I might like the look of us, and I just did this. I, I just did it just a minute ago. I might like the look of our stream, but I'm just like, I've got I've got one person that, that has been following for about six months and said about three things, and some days who's in the chat, in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. It would make sense to that you fucking hurry up, Irish Wankstein. That's the name, by the way. I didn't say that. What's this? Hmm. 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 Right. Oh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing, man? Yeah, we're gonna go out to Roscoe. Wait to see what he's up to. What is this fucking insanity here, man? Um, Soulsborn, thank you, thank you very much for the sub. Um, ladies and gents, thanks for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. When I came, when I came on tonight, I was slightly under the weather. Not a lot, not a lot, just a wee bit, just tiny, tiny. Feeling hunky dory. Um, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Mods, thank you very much for everything. Any new followers there? Welcome to the community. And hello to everybody else. I will be back on maybe the morrow, as in Saturday, maybe Sunday, but definitely Monday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's fucking batter air. To Roscoe and see what he's up to here. Let's see this fucking chaos. Bye for now.